Hello, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah Spiritual Spot coming with your daily read. This is going to be for Friday, November 5th. November 4th, for some reason couldn't upload. I am going to try to upload because that is the new moon reading. So this is for Friday again, November 5th, and we are using the Psychic Tarot for our messages. So we have Rejoice and Celebration. I'm going to keep that reversed because I feel like there's a lot of things that are being delayed. Um, and we are in this stalled period. I, I think that, um, for many of us, we are headed towards victory, um, but it just needs a little bit more time. And I like that this card came out because maybe we're missing one piece to the puzzle. There's two threes out on the table. Card number, uh, angel number 33, look that up. It's important to look these up for yourself to find how um these synchronicities and these numbers apply to your life so card number 33 partnerships and alliances um and rejoice and celebration so something is delayed and it may be you're missing one piece of the puzzle um so take take a seat back get into into hermit mode and really look for what's going on and see and this is why there's a delay we do have a little bit of disruption so um make sure that when you're going for your goals and this is for me too Whenever we're trying to make positive moves and be positive and have these spiritual awakenings, we attract the dark. Always, the dark will always chase the light. Um, and it's up to us, right, to keep the light, right? Um, you want to keep the light and shield yourself away from the dark because the dark has a tendency to draw you in. And we don't want to get drawn into that negative energy. So there is disruption. There's disruptions in life. Um, is how we manage it and how we let it affect us. So, you know, this is what these readings are about. A snapshot of what could occur and maybe some strategies to help you get through it because life is hard. You know, life is hard. Um, yeah, just life is hard. <laughs> and we have a transformation. And this is just the awakening we're in, you know. Um, especially with the younger generation. And I love how they're coming back to spirituality. Um, and I, I think that's amazing. And even as older adults, we're, we're waking up, right? I, I happen to come from a very spiritual family. So, you know, it's a little bit different for me. Um, and I always uh, was, um, I was kind of hidden, right? So I always had my spiritual gifts, but I didn't always share them. Um, and I think a lot of my disruption and blockages came from when I was not sharing my gifts. So you want to make sure you're doing things, you know, the yin and yang way, give and take, the law of attraction. The more light you put out there, the more you're attracting. This disruption gets less and less. So just, you know, just a little bit of information of, about myself. Um, this is a transformative period for you. Whatever is delayed is going to allow you to, they're giving me the word flexibility. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest at this time, it's gonna give you some flexibility, right? Um, <clears throat> and that flexibility is going to allow you to, um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the crown chakra. <laughs> Uh, so listen to your instincts, but that transformation and that flexibility is going to allow you to, I don't want to say live an easier life, but what I want to say is going to allow you to relax a little bit. Um, and one more stress off your plate um, will seem like all of the stress is off your plate. It'll give you time to breathe. But really, flexibility is what we're looking at. Whether it's financial flexibility or flexibility in your business or relationships, you're going to achieve that. It's just a little bit delayed because of this disruptive person. And I want to say it's a disruptive person. We have the ninth house. We have faith that came out with this. We also have the crown chakra here. So having faith and connecting with your spirituality that's what's going to be the catalyst in, um, in uh, making things move for yourself. You have also the first house, the body. So making sure you're taking care of your temple, right? You're eating clean. When you're, uh, when you're in spiritual growth, drinking a lot of water, you want to eat as clean as possible. Believe it or not, sugar is a drug. And I'm not a skinny girl, so I understand the call of the sweet tooth. So... But when you when you're when you're trying to connect spiritually, the cleaner you eat, the better the connection is, right? Because 
you know, these higher beings are of pure spirit. So they're not tainted in any way. Um, and certain foods, unfortunately, you know, are doctored up with sugar and salt and, and things of that nature. So you want to eat as clean as possible, drink a lot of water, spiritually connect, and this delay is only a little blip. If you ignore, not, and not ignore, but if you put disruption in its place, right? So we got to put it in our place. And this is for Friday, um, November 5th. I'm Delilah Rose. Thank you.